Hello everyone, welcome back to Sonic Generations! Playing more Sonic! Oh, uh, oh yeah. On, uh, <laughs> Insurpassable Purple Cloud. Anyway, we're gonna talk some more about Sonic Generations animations. I said last time we were gonna talk about some of their walks and runs and just general gameplay animation stuff, so let's go ahead and do that now. And since this is almost entirely good, in my opinion, I can say almost entirely nice things. So let's just start by looking at classic Sonic here. Just let's just look at his stuff. Here's his idol. He keeps his hands balled into fists most of the time. Keeps them tucked in pretty close to his body there. And then his uh, inactive fidget animation. He's just kind of tapping his foot, crossing his arms, looking at you. Kind of wish that his other pupil, uh, <laughs> looking at his watch that he does not have. Kind of wish that his other pupil was cleared from his uh, brow there a little bit so we could see both of them, but that's that's okay, it's just nitpick. Nice little bit of uh, overlap on his uh, head spines, though. So impatient. <laughs> his foot's moving a little weird there, but again, nitpicks. What is he doing with his hand? Is he, like, tapping his foot? Is he tapping his finger? Can't quite tell what he's doing, but it, oh, the pose still reads. It's fine. Anyway, so let's look at... I guess you can't really just look at, like, his run or walk individually, because each of them actually have a multi-stage run as they build up speed, which is kind of cool. So let's see if we can, like, isolate each one of these stages. So, so it's not really possible to walk. You just kind of immediately go into this building up speed run here. If you do that for a second, he kind of builds up to pumping his arms faster to eventually pulling his arms in and not pumping them at all. Which is kind of cool. Like, I kind of like that, that it looks like it takes more effort for him to get up to speed than to maintain speed. Once he's up to, uh, once he's up to his full run speed, he's not pumping his arms any longer. And it looks like the final stage, once he brings his arms in, is that, um, I can't tell if there's a stage where he has his arms in, but his feet aren't doing that little, uh, circular spinning look yet. Eh, looks like he kind of settles right into it. The final stage has him at full speed, with his feet almost looking like they're running slower. Like, they look like they're going really fast here, and then they slow down. And then there's that kind of blur effect that I think is just a little animated 2D texture that's happening. It's hard to tell for sure. That effect, I'm not 100% sure of the name. I think it's called like the stroboscopic, the stroboscopic effect, or I think it's sometimes also called like the wagon wheel effect. You know how in some older movies, when you see like a stagecoach or a wagon or something, and there's that illusion effect where the spokes on its wheels appear to either be rotating backwards or rotating really slowly somehow? They've kind of imitated that effect here on Sonic as well where it looks like his feet start moving slower, and then there's that blur, so it feels like there's that same optical illusion happening, which is a really cool idea, but also helps to sort of reinforce that illusion of ease of maintaining speed. Which I really like, and I assume is uh, modeled after the original 2D Sonic sprite animation. I'll have to check on that later. Let's see his animation for screeching to a halt. So you get him up to full speed, and then you stop! And he skids. That's kind of nice. Although it does look like there is some other animation blending in at the very end there that... Like where he flings his arms out for some reason. Not, not sure why that's happening. And it feels like there is a uh, stray animation getting blended in there. In between skidding to a halt and the standing idle. I don't know. A minor thing, but... Could probably look a little tighter if it wasn't he wasn't doing that. And then when you're running, you can also duck to spin into a little ball, and I think that might actually be... When you just hold down standing still, he just ducks, which is kind of cute. But then, when you're running, he does pinwheel like this, and I think that might actually be the Sonic model, actually animated, curled up into a ball. Like, I don't think they're doing a uh, swap-out model that's a circle or a texture or anything like that. Which is pretty cool that they managed to make it work. And yeah, I think it has to be, because he comes out of it slightly differently, depending on where he's rotated. Depending on his rotation, he, like, sort of blends out of it a little bit differently. Oh, that's neat. And I don't think modern Sonic animates the same way. In fact, I don't think you can do that sort of a press-down-to-curl-into-a-ball thing. Like you can with classic Sonic. 
And then one of my favorite bits. I love this. This is a great move. I love that he's not just a perfect circle because it really emphasizes the direction and just the feel of that vibrating skidding. Or I'm gonna take off like, like tires peeling out sort of feeling. And then he let go and psh, off he goes back into his curled up sonic ball pose. What happens if you just like hit a wall at full speed? I wonder. Dunk. Oh, it just flips you around. That's interesting. I wonder if that's how it worked in original Sonic 2. I mean, original Sonic games also, I should say, not Sonic 2 specifically. <laughs> it sounded more confusing when I said it out loud. And when he jumps, he hits that same kind of curled up pose as well. Okay. I wonder if there are any other little hidden animations I can find here, like teetering over an edge. Does he do anything? Oh, he does. Ah, that's cute. That is pretty adorable. Come on, Sonic. Do the thing. There you go. Oh, it's a different animation. Is that different based on whether he's facing right and right or left? Like, hey, ah, no, wait, Sonic, stop. <laughs> Whoa, easy frame rate. You're like a three-year-old game running on a GTX 1080. There's no reason to drop a frame. Sonic Generations. Hang on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I think it's whether or not he's facing right or left on the ledge. Left ledge? Right ledge. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of neat also how if Sonic goes airborne when he's running full speed, he just keeps running midair. I like that. All right, enough on him. Let's check out modern Sonic. So here's his idle pose. Don't love the hand pose there in the idle, but that's fine. These little fidget animations are pretty good, though. Kind of stretches, kicks his shoes, touches toes. Yeah, it's not bad. So what does he do when he gets impatient? I mean, he will get impatient at some point, right? Or is that just a classic Sonic thing? Maybe he doesn't do that anymore. Sonic, are you losing your attitude over time? <laughs> you know what? I actually like this better than the classic style. So he's still kind of tapping his foot. It's a little easier to tell that he's drumming his fingers. But the... <laughs> it's one of the rare examples of actually getting a good facial expression out of this, uh, out of this face of his. In a way that's like really entertaining and funny. Like sort of the dozing, falling asleep, and then his head kind of slips. <laughs> Yeah, I like this a lot. This is good. Good job, Sonic Team. Whoa. <laughs> and he's up. All right, let's look at the stages of his walk and run. So he starts out having a little bit more of a walk, but you can't stay there manually. He starts kind of jogging pretty quickly there. So stage one is a sort of that jog there. Then it settles into this. Interesting. So they don't necessarily slow down the speed of his feet that much. They mostly just like chill out the up and down bobbing of his earlier jog. Which is a different approach than the classic Sonic animation takes, but it does have a similar effect of sort of smoothing out and making the run feel easier and more effortless than the acceleration to that run speed. So at this speed, he's still kind of a... Uh, whoa. He has a lot of little subtle stages in this run. This is really cool. So he's got that early sort of bobbing up and down jog. This, these longer strides that he settles into that feel a lot smoother and more effortless and it's nice. Then at a certain speed, he leans further forward and his hands start dragging behind. <laughs> Smack into the door. <laughs> Hit in the face with nostalgia. <laughs> All right. Anyway, back out of the door. So. Hands go behind, because at this point they're just kind of dead weight. <laughs> and his legs are doing all the work. But then if you go further, he actually leans further forward, splays his fingers out. Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, like even that full tilt, uh, hands dragging behind run has two distinct stages. If you hold onto it long enough, he will splay out his hands, lean even further forward. Oh, that's really nice. And his leg, feet, running animation actually looks really nice, too. Like, it doesn't do that same wagon wheels, stroboscopic effect thing I talked about earlier, but 
but the arc that his feet follow as they run kind of create the same feeling. And the spacing on the feet as they run as well, where they kind of favor the before and after the foot contact on the ground moments. Like, it'd be really easy to have the fast-running Sonic feet movement feel really weird and kind of goofy and uh, off, but... No, this feels really nice. Again, well done, Sonic Team. I feel it is important to take every opportunity possible to say that sentence. Because you can't always. But when they get it right, they deserve the praise. It was Sonic Team that did this, right? What, like, that this wasn't farmed out to some other studio. I, I hope... I, I hope not. I hope I've not been crediting the wrong folks. Whoever made this, good job on the runs. Looks good. Let's look at his boosted run. How does that look different? So, okay, he balls his hands up into fists. Feet move even faster. And stretch out further in front of and before him, too. That is a really nice animation. But looking back over the history of Sonic games, there is definitely a lot of variation in quality in the Sonic running animations, and... This is a very successful example right here. Oh, and when he spins into a ball, they actually... They are either replacing him with kind of like a little pinwheel shape that also has the... That also has this kind of a... Spin dash... Spiky texture shape thing layered on top. Or... I don't know, because it feels like the red of his shoes and... White of his gloves and everything are kind of disappearing in there, but it may just be that the blue... Pinwheel... Texture is just kind of covering up everything. I don't know, I can't tell. It looks different, though. Oh, he's got a little duck here and a... <laughs> and a slide. <laughs> Yay! Slide! Hmm, let me see if I can do it down a hill. Yay! Wee! Sonic sledding! <laughs> Yeah, how does he look when he screeches to a halt? Because I don't think he does the same thing. Huh. Yeah, that's actually kind of weak. I wish he did the same foot outstretched skidding to a halt thing that uh, Classic Sonic does. Like, he kind of does, but it's... It happens so quickly and he blends out of it so fast that you don't really get a chance to see it. Or notice it. I I'd actually kind of love for him to, uh... Do something closer to this slide thing to stop. Like, as a as an animation. Not, like, not to slide way past the point where you wanted to stop, but, like, settling into an animation more like that as he screeches to a halt. Would really, uh, emphasize the deceleration a little bit more than just, eh, <laughs> doing that. But anyway, nitpicks again. Uh, sorry for spending so long focusing on this stuff, but it's just, I think this is some of the most successful animation in the entire game, and I really wanted to, uh, give credit where credit is due, because they done good. They done good. Let's play, let's actually play some Sonic, shall we? <laughs> let's, uh... Yeah, let's do Act 1. Classic Sonic here. Let, let's do both acts of this uh, one level, and then we'll call it an episode. So let's start taking bets. At what level <laughs> in this game will I start really sucking at this? Will it be this one? Or perhaps the next. Place your bets. I do recommend to everybody, even if you're not a fan of the Sonic games, like, if you want to get a taste of Sonic at its I don't want to say most fun, because I've not- there are a lot of Sonic games I haven't played. There are some that are probably better. And the, and the old classic ones are a great deal of fun, too, but... If you want to... enjoy and appreciate... the best of all that Sonic... has been... over his long history... it's a pretty fun game right here. I'm not a big Sonic fan, but Sonic Generations is all right. Great music, too. That bears repeating. Sonic soundtracks are awesome. And they make for some incredible remix fodder as well. 
Overclocked Remix and YouTube and various uh, remixing communities have done some amazing work covering the Sonic soundtracks. I think Materia Collective put out a uh, Sonic album recently that was top-notch. Overclocked Remix has put out a bunch, too. Sonic has good music, is my point. If I haven't made that abundantly clear. Ah, don't jump off the platform. Sonic. No. Yeah. There we go. Go, Sonic. Run like the wind. There you go. Yep. Yep. Watch the pit. There we go. Easy. Easy. There you go. <laughs> I'm having to concentrate a bit more. We are not in Green Hill Zone any longer. The danger is real. Oh, no. No! <laughs> kind of hope that boost would launch me over the pit, but... It was not meant to be. Here we go. Yeah! Okay, over the pit. Over the pit. Onto the bouncy clouds. Who is this chatty little companion who has been talking at me? It is probably from one of the Sonic games I am less familiar with. There are a lot of Sonic games that I'm not super familiar with beyond their opening levels. A lot of them I haven't actually played myself. There are many of these stages that, in this game in particular, that are retreads across old Sonic game territory, but I don't know them. <laughs> So oh, it's all new to me. And actually, now that I talk about it, I suppose this is as good a time as any to uh, go ahead and let you folks in on the secret. That uh, this is going to be the first of many Sonic playthroughs here on this channel. Not, not full playthroughs, mind you, but... And I guess I kind of already said this in a... Uh, in a, in a video before, but... Sonic Generations is not the only Sonic game I'm going to be covering on Extra Frames. I... think it would be really interesting, I hope it will be, to do a Sonic series retrospective on... this on focused on animation in particular, the animation of the Sonic series. Because like I said, it's... it's very uneven. Sometimes good, sometimes very bad. And I think it'd be really interesting to see just the, uh... arc of animation quality across a franchise's history. Especially one that's been around for as long as Sonic has. Like, from the early sprite days, to the early, really unfortunate 3D days, to modern Sonic, like, uh... How has the animation of the Sonic games evolved? I think that'd be really interesting, and I think I'm going to do an extra frames on it, which means we're going to be playing a lot of Sonic games here on this series on this channel, because I need footage from all of them to do an episode like that. So we are going to cover pretty much all of the major Sonic releases. Not like every spin-off that came out necessarily, probably not the handheld ones either, but major Sonic console releases that are the, of the platformer variety. If it exists, I'm probably going to play it. Yes, even that one. That one, too. Fill in the blank with whichever one <laughs> you are wondering about. So we're going to have a lot of ups and downs in this series of Sonic playthroughs, as you can probably imagine. I am looking forward to and sort of dreading, but mostly looking forward to it. I think it'll be enjoyable. So long as you folks are okay joining me on this journey, so long as I'm not doing it by myself, I think it'll be okay. 
Don't leave me alone with these Sonic games, you guys. Seriously. Oops. My fault. Again. <laughs> Come on, Sonic. Make up for my failings. Ah, ah. Ah, oh, almost. I feel like I'm doing okay here. Like, not great. Not by a long shot. But I feel like I'm doing all right. I don't feel like we've hit the threshold of my true terribleness <laughs> at Sonic games. That is yet to come. Here we go. Wow. What happened? It, I guess I'm back here now. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Sonic! No! Sonic, what have you done? Here we go. Okay. We... We bounce! We bounce higher. We try to run across, but fail. Then we try to jump up here and... Come on, Sonic. Come on, Sonic. Up, up, up. There we go. Yay, and then we jump here, and yes. Okay. No, Sonic! Come on, man. Get it together. Sonic, we can't finish this episode until we finish this level. You understand? Work with me, Sonic. Go fast. It's your one job. There you go. There you go. Yes! Success! Haha! -ha. Not completely terrible. What, what, are we gonna get a B? Yeah, it feels about right. I'll take it. Middle of the road. <laughs> All right, we have completed Sky Sanctuary and rescued... I think that's Knuckles, right? Yeah, it looks like Knuckles. Ah, look how awkward it is trying to animate his huge mitten fists to do anything. Like, to cross his arms, he basically just has to, like, wrap his arms around each other in a sort of weird, awkward... It's just... How do you animate this character? <laughs> Look at all that stuff that I could do. Probably won't do it on camera, though. I think I need to beat a few of these in order to uh, unlock the next stage, which is a boss. I think I'll do that off camera, and then I will come back and we will continue this next time. So I hope you all will join me then. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. There's more Sonic! <laughs> <laughs>